The Particle Photon is a cloud-based microcontroller development IoT system that has some major advantages over other mainstream microcontrollers. However, with no physical programmer, debugging the Photon can be somewhat tricky at times. If a PC or laptop is available, then the Particle Serial port can be used to help with debugging the code. Values can be checked by printing their value. Specific messages can be inserted into key locations in the code to see if those lines are being executed, and the values can be injected with the use of a terminal. The example below shows how different unique messages can be put into the code to confirm that each stage is being executed, while the end of the loop shows values being printed to see their result. Cloud Debugging a novel feature of the Particle Photon is very similar to the serial port, but instead of needing a PC, we instead take the advantage of the online console. This console publishes events, and the Particle Photon can create its own events with the use of particle.publish. This function, as seen before, takes two parameters, the event name and optional data. In some cases, we do not require the use of additional data, but we can use this additional data parameter to print out variables or other messages. However, this code example has one issue. Only one message may be published per second. This means that this use of code tracking should be used with great caution and with delays between published functions so that limits are not reached. This type of debug method can be further improved with the use of a define function. This line, if inserted at the top of your code, can be used as an easy way to print data to the console as debug information without having to use the particle publish function. Viewing the debug information can be done in two ways, either viewing all the device's events or viewing the events for a specific device. To view all events from all devices, you can either navigate to console.particle.io slash events or click the icon on the left as shown below. The center window shows all events occurring and any event that matches debug is the event triggered by the device under test. However, this shows all events from all devices, which may be somewhat difficult to navigate if there are multiple devices publishing data. To view individual device events, navigate to My Devices, click the specific device, and the events window for that device should be shown.